Start with thoughts of goodwill, a wish for happiness. Notice that's not specified as to whose happiness. It actually means everybody's happiness. Of course, for everybody to be happy, they have to look for happiness in a skillful way. And they have to look inside. When your happiness depends on taking things away from other people, then you can't share that happiness with them. The only kind of happiness that can be shared is when you find happiness inside and it spills out in your thoughts, your words, and your deeds. So generate some happiness inside. Look at your breath, look at your mind, see if you can put them together. If you have trouble staying with the breath, find some other topic that's in line with the drama that the mind finds of interest, finds to be comfortable. Because if you want the mind to stay here in the present moment, you have to give it something good to stay with. You make up your mind that you're not going to look for happiness in any way that's going to harm anybody. And that thought right there is reassuring. It's a good thought to think. And then it's a good thought to follow through with. But for right now, just think it. And then look inside. There are resources inside for happiness. This is our problem. We look outside, outside, outside. And of course, other people are looking outside as well. That's why we come into conflict. But there are potentials right nearby. The potentials in the body, potentials in the mind. And if you develop them, you'll find that you have more than enough in terms of your own happiness. You're happy to share. So look inside for your resources. An analogy that John Lee gives is of people who have property of their own, but they haven't developed it, and they go try to go farming in other people's property. Well, of course there are going to be problems. But you've got your own four acres here, the four elements of the body. You can develop those. The warmth, the coolness, the solidity, the energy. Try to get familiar with these things. It's an area of our awareness that in the West we're not all that familiar with. Like the idea of the breath coursing through the nerves. It doesn't mean air going through the nerves, it's an energy that flows. You try to get sensitive to that. And then notice where you're squeezing it or t tightening or tensing it up, and where you can change, where you can relax it so that things can flow, where it feels wide open. That's called farming in your own property. And whatever you can grow in your own property, it's yours. And you'll find that your crops are abundant and you can share. So start looking inside for your happiness. You look outside and the world is a, is a world of disappointments. You remember that picture they took of the Earth from the moon, how small the Earth looked. You kept thinking, well, why can't everybody on Earth get along? And there are people who just don't want to get along. They created a lot of trouble for other people. But you don't want to be the type of person who creates trouble. You want to be the kind of person who solves problems. And the first problem you've got to solve is how you're looking for happiness. And there's a great potential for happiness inside. In fact, it's greater than can be found outside. So look in here. Get used to being right here, looking in here. And you'll find that the potentials can provide you with much more than you might have thought. <laughs>